guys welcome back to my channel so for today's video I'm gonna be doing a tutorial on this simple look right here this is the look I just keep on watching to learn how to do this look all right so I'm gonna start off prepping my face and I'm gonna put on some oil first just a little bit excuse my pimple right here not cute started coming out today I was like oh, great the day I was gonna record and then going in with Clinique Pep Start. Alright, I'm going to start off with my eyebrows. I always start off with my brows, even if I'm just doing like a simple look like today's. It's just, they look so much neater and clean when you start off with your brows first well at least that's my opinion it is kind of hard at first not to mess them up when you're like putting your foundation on and your powder but I think it's just a matter of getting used to it And then I'm going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape in medium. And I'm just going to outline my eyebrows. We're going to start off with the eyes. And I'm going to go in to prime my lid. I'm going to do the Tarte Shape Tape in medium. I'm going to blend that out with a little brush like this one. Make sure you go in all the way to the inner tear duct and all the way out to the end of the brow. Next I'm going to set that with my MAC translucent powder and just any fluffy brush. I use this one right here, and this one is from BH Cosmetics. The reason I'm setting this is because we're not using any strong pigments today. Um, it's just going to be more of a natural look. So I just want to set the concealer so it doesn't move at all, since we're using very light eyeshadows. Okay, so I'm going to be going in with the Revolution palette that looks like this this has a really good mirror I haven't used this yet but this is what it looks like it has shimmer shades in here and it has mattes also okay so I'm gonna go in with my fluffy brush the fluffiest brush that I have and this is for my first transition shade so the first color that I'm gonna go in with is called almost there which is the this brown that is right here okay they're very dusty <laughs> fair warning and I'm going starting at the end of your eye and just breathe it in about halfway not we're not going all the way in remember guys we're doing a natural eye today very dusty you guys by the way all right and then going in with another blending brush this one right here I'm gonna go in with the undercolor which is smudge which is this one right here um excuse my nails they're disgusting I know this one right here and I'm just gonna put that right over that And then this one you want to bring it in a little bit more than the other one. So for the inner, I'm going to grab a flat brush. This is from Kara. And this is the K36. And I think I'm going to go in with this gold color right here. Which is a <laughs> gold digger. And I'm going to actually spray my brush with my MAC Fix Plus. 
start patting it on. Ooh, cute. And then blend those two together. Now I'm gonna grab another flat brush. Actually, I'm gonna grab like a flat, fluffy brush. And this one's also from BH Cosmetics. And I'm gonna grab, a, this color is called Paper. This one right here, and I'm gonna put that on my brow bone. All right, so then I'm gonna go in with mascara next. Almost poke my eye. I'm actually going to just very do a very very thin line uh, for eyeliner, like super thin. Like the thinnest you can do it, you guys. And it just looks a little better, you know? My eyelashes are done, so I'm just gonna curl them. And I'm gonna apply my lashes. So, these, I actually cut them, and I just did them very tiny so I could put them at the end of my eyelashes. See how they look? I've never done this before, so if they don't look good, I'm just gonna go get my other ones that are in my room. Okay, this is cute. They actually feel kind of weird. We're gonna move on to the face. So I'm gonna start off with my Becca Velvet Blurring Primer. I have to shake this really well. Put it all over my face. I'm gonna go in with my NARS Radiant Long Wear Foundation. Now I'm gonna mix it with my MAC NC40. I'm gonna dot this all over the face. It's crazy how much of a difference a new sponge makes. Like, oh my god, my makeup feels so much better. Well, not even new, like a clean one. I just hadn't cleaned mine in a while. And um, I was at the store. So I was like, oh, I might as well just get a new one. I mean, I still have mine. It's not like torn or ripped or anything. Next, we're going to go in with concealer. And I'm using, obviously, my Tarte Shape Tape in medium. And concealer is probably my favorite part down the nose and the middle of the face so I blend out the middle first I'm actually gonna blend this out with a little brush so that I don't mess up my eyebrows this brush is from Kara it's the number K29 If I would have never put too much on, I would have just gone in with the same brush, but your girl got a little out of hand. To set my under eye, I'm going to be using the Revolution Banana Powder. Okay, so now I'm going to set the under eye and just pounce that powder in. I really like a bright under eye. I think it just, I don't know, it just makes your makeup look so much better. Head as well. So while that is setting, I'm going to set my whole face with my MAC NC40 Studio Fix Powder. And this brush is from BH Cosmetics. Now I'm just going to bronze up my face a little bit. And this is the Pro Fusion brush. This is what it looks like. It looks super soft bristles and the hula bronzer and then forehead 
And then I'm going to wipe off the powder. To highlight, I'm going to be using my Wet n Wild highlighter, and this is Mega Glow. This is what it looks like. Super bomb. And then I'm going to be using my Morphe M510 brush with a little bit of MAC Fix Plus. And just connect that to kind of like the eyeshadow and then my nose for my lips um, I don't know if I should go in with okay tell me where this color washed off oh this one I washed it in the dry in the washer Se me fue en un pantalón, and I just threw it in the washer and I had no idea and then when I took it out I was like oh hell no what is this and it was my MAC lipstick I don't even know what color it is anymore I don't know. Se le borró. But this one is Spirit. I think this is Touch. So I'm going to outline my lip with the Cara WP35 lip liner, which is natural. And I'm putting this one in the middle. Actually, I'm just putting this one all over. Last but not least, I'm just going to spray my face with my MAC Fix Plus. This is the look, and I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. I will be back with another video soon. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.